Welcome to LOA Today. I'm Walt Thiessen here with Alex King and Daniel Mangana. Today is Thursday, September the 10th, 2020. It's 4 p.m. New York time, and wherever you are in the world, thank you for joining us for another episode of LOA Today, your daily dose of happy. And uh, I have more news on the money game front, so I wanted to share that with you guys. First of all, uh, <laughs> Carla, who uh, had one of the questions from Tuesday, just wrote in to say thanks since she had implemented your suggestions, Daniel, about uh, what she Brilliant. should be doing next. With, uh, I think her question, I can't remember if hers was about the edge, or was it about, yeah, I think hers was about the edge. I mm. think so. And, yeah. And then I just wanted to give you another update. Um, now, we had talked on Tuesday about how if you set your next threshold that you're trying to reach, your next ask, your ne- next intent, and something comes in for less than that, mm-hmm. then you don't count it, first of all. And second of all, what you were talking about, the virtues of giving it away. Yeah. Well, I got a check in the mail unexpectedly for $13 and change, and that <laughs> check is below the $60 threshold that I had set. So this mm-hmm. one's being given away. It's going nice. to a, a charity called Trickle Up. Nice. And uh, tr- Trickle uh, Up, actually. Do you know Trickle Up? No, but I see the wittiness of the uh, trickling up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, see what and, you and, did and, there? That, and that's really what the, the whole thing is all about. It's about um, putting micro-loan investments in the hands of you know little uh, just startup entrepreneurs from around the world, usually from poor countries, Mm-hmm. Um, to let them get a business going. And nice. then they pay it back, and then it goes back to investing in another person and oh, another person and I another like person. That. So it just goes round and round and round. And plus, I mean, you know how a lot of charities have um, high overhead, shall we call it? Mm-hmm. I, haven't checked this one in, <laughs> I haven't checked this one in a while, but the last I checked, 97% of every dollar actually went to the beneficiaries. Wow. Yeah. That's right. Normally it's the other way around. Yeah. Right. Right. So that that's another reason why I like that one. So I just thought I'd give a little plug to the trickle up folks. They do a really nice job. They really yeah, do. Yeah, I like those trickle up folks. Yeah. I'm going to put it on my research list. Hashtag yeah, well, they're definitely up. worth it. They're good. They're really good. Trickle 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 up. Trickle 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 up. <laughs> <laughs> and uh so I, I figured this is like a, an opportunity to talk again about that effect you were describing on Tuesday where you didn't hit the threshold, so you're giving it away, and that giveaway kind of creates a vibrational rebound. I can't remember exactly how you described it, but it was something along that line. Mm-hmm. Talk, talk about that again because I think it was a good point to reinforce. Yes. Oh, so we're talking about the karmic payoff that you get. From karmic payoff, that's what you called it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because at the end of the day, we're always... And the thing is, people think of karma as like payback. Well, karma is just reestablishment of the balance of natural forces because nature's always in balance. And so events happen in nature to rebalance out energy, which is ultimately always walking the line between the yin and the yang. So what we do is when we create an imbalance, the universe comes in and reestablishes that balance, but we can only experience where vibrational match to. So we can't have mm. a rebalancing that doesn't represent where we're at vibrationally. So when I'm holding the frequency of vibration and making an act from a place of vibration, of vibrational, uh, um, uh, abundant vibration, then everything has to be in abundance. Mm-hmm. So when I'm giving away, I'm blessing, you know, you put thought, you put intention into trickle up. Mm -hmm. You're thinking about the people that's going to help. You're not thinking, oh, this is going to help my money guy. Like, oh my God, (laughs) here's an an opportunity to help some people and put multiple spins of uplift. Mm -hmm. So you're going to get that karmic payoff. Okay. Okay. And and like you said, I especially like the fact that with the, the trickle up, you know, they basically give money to one person, that person pays back, and then it goes to the next person. It just becomes a continuous, ongoing trend. It just goes on and on and on. And you know where you've got even more compound interest on that? They're not giving it to somebody to go and buy maize meal for them to feed themselves for the day. True. They're actually empowering people to create more value. So right. they're actually <laughs> adding more to adding more to adding more, and then it goes out to add some more people to add more. So it's actually in alignment with the desire of the universe for expansion and growth. True. So the rebalancing of that, again, you supported that. And in supporting that, you're making yourself a conduit for more of that. 
I like that. It's even better now that you explained it. <laughs> <laughs> I was just doing it because I thought it was a cool concept. Like the way you described it, it's like, oh, I'm saving the universe here. Really <laughs> Basically, cool. yeah, you, you're keeping us, you're keeping us in a very groovy quantum, quantum overlay of universal yumminess. I love it. Dang. Makes me wonder why I haven't been giving more now. <laughs> <laughs> right? Is, right? I mean, when you understand the power behind giving, it's, I mean, I just sent a tithing today, just sent two and a half grand from this. I did it early because tomorrow I'm going to be busy. Mm. You know, just sent two and a half grand out from this week's earnings and to go and support some people that need some supporting, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, um, that just feels Really, really, really good. So I have a question with mm-hmm. all this going on. So if Walt using his – hold on. How am I worried this? Okay, so Walt using his check that didn't reach his edge to mm-hmm. go to, to, to donate to Trickle Up, mm-hmm. does that count for Daniel's karmic payoff? Because he, he got it from the – he used it from the money game. No, but mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. <laughs> nice hedge. I like that. The reason why is because for me, everything's an advantage. Mm, good point. So I take advantage in everything. Mm-hmm. I take advantage in saying a silly joke that makes somebody laugh. I'm like, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to make somebody laugh. Same. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I just keep, I'm, it's keeping me in this continuous upward spiral because I'm like, yeah, I'm claiming that one and I'm celebrating it. And it just keeps my, my vibe consistently up because I'm just like, yep. okay, let's add, but not, because of anything other than it feels good to do it. Okay. Not now I've done this, my payoff is going to be blah, blah, blah. Right, blah, blah. right. It's dope. More people and, are getting support okay. and abundance and more grooviness in the world. And also not from the point of view of, oh, geez, I really needed this, but I know it's important to give, so I'll give. Yeah. Right. That's from, that's from a place like of that. guilt. Yeah. yeah. Like you're guilting yourself. It's like, that's yeah, the really? wrong vibration to have. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's just like, I wouldn't even make it a matter of right and wrong. That's just not going to work, bro. (laughs) (laughs) Right. Right or wrong is this? Yeah. Or not. It it just produces uh, an unfortunate vibration. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Yeah. A a definitively unaligned vibration. (laughs) Definitively unaligned, yes. (laughs) This is like, it's definitely not going anywhere. No. You're not, bro. And... That, that is the nice thing about the money game because since early on in the game, you're starting off with relatively small amounts. I mean, mm-hmm. no matter what you're used to, you can start at the smallest level yep. that, that's comfortable. I bet people don't start with a penny. Yeah. So so you're working with something that's really, really small. So it's not like this is going to cost you your rent money or something like that. This is, this right. is just, you know, this is a little bit. It's not that mm-hmm. big of a deal. Yeah. And that's what makes it easy to see it as, okay, this is something I can give away. Mm-hmm. the attachment is lower and then once you start seeing more flow in then the attachment starts to reduce the importance levels around what you've got in your hand starts to disappear and then all of that lack energy starts to dissipate and then all of a sudden you're finding hang on a minute i'm just getting more and more and more well that's because you're not holding on to more and more and more you're letting it right. go, you're letting it flow and then you're good to go let it go let it flow then you're good to go <laughs> bro <laughs> i missed my vocation I missed my vocation. Oh, I don't know. I think you're doing your vocation very nicely right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Well, that that's my bit on the money game. Um, did, did you want to share what was going on with you, Alex? Oh, okay. So Walt and I, what was it, a couple of months ago we were talking about it? Oh, God, yeah. It was, it was a while ago. Yeah. It was a while ago. It was your last doctor's appointment. So it was a while ago. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> We were talking about um, our site, and and we both decided that we were going to try to manifest better eyesight. And Walt's also trying to manifest uh, darker hair. Well, that's one thing, you know, that's something different. But anyway, <laughs> so <laughs> we decided we're going to try to manifest better eyesight. So I went to the eye doctor today because I wanted to get fitted for contacts, mm-hmm. and I no longer have an astigmatism. Woo! <laughs> Say woo! Right. But the funny part is, it's the system myself, I didn't know I had. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's he's writing down my prescription, and he's like, "Oh, your astigmatism's gone." And I'm like, "Great!" 
<laughs> what astigmatism? Thanks. <laughs> Look at that manifesting you should do. Yeah, or, he's like, your eyesight is much better. What what prescription did you stop taking? I was like, I'm still taking the same prescriptions. Mm-hmm. Or, oh, here's a, are you ready for the noodle bake? Okay. Did the astigmatism appear and disappear in order for you to witness your ability to manifest in the moment that he said it? Ooh. Ooh. Mind freaking blown. (laughs) Just saying. Yeah. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? I'm going to co-sign with that. Because the more that we learn to pay attention to the stuff, I mean, that's what the money game is about, learning to pay attention to the stuff. Right. The more we're going to notice. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, there's the universe saying, uh, Alex, pay attention. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> universe to Alex, universe to Alex, come in, please, over. <laughs> You're a kick ass manifesto. <laughs> <laughs> Still can't laugh that hard. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm taking that laughter, by the way. Off. I'm taking the vibe of that laughter, by the way. All right. I receive it and all its karmic benefits with a grateful and giving heart. <laughs> oh, man. I love it. So, yeah, I'm that's a pretty cool one. Too. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, it's even better that you didn't know that you had it. That meant you had no resistance about letting it go. Facts. You know? <laughs> <laughs> But it also shows you've been raising your vibration. I just went in there and I was like, I'd like a new pair of glasses. Didn't know I wanted a new prescription to go with it, but I wanted a new pair of glasses and contacts so I wouldn't have to wear glasses. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah. And they look good on you, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you do not understand how much stuff I was reading on the way home. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Mom, I can see. I said, that says McDonald's. <laughs> That says takeout. Joy. 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 (laughs) For those of you who aren't fortunate enough to watch us on YouTube, I just did hand movements that mimicked reading various books and other reading materials. Take it away, Alex. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. I think it's supposed to be your signal to to do the promo on how to uh, subscribe on YouTube. (laughs) I think it was. Nice segue. I like it. We need okay. to work on the show notes, guys, because you say it's a nice segue. They completely ruined it's the segue. Always, it's always leaking but, our secrets. Like, we're by here. Disgusting. <laughs> discussing the segue. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're not yet a subscriber, then you're not seeing the look of incredulousness on my face <laughs> right now. <laughs> Mix of ra- raucous laughter. <laughs> Take it away, Alex. So, you want to go to YouTube, search LOA Today podcast videos, and once you see our smiling faces, click Your down eyes below. Work. <laughs> you can see all this on YouTube. Click down below to the red subscribe button. Next to the red subscribe button, there's a little silver bell. Make sure you click all so you will always be notified when we are live. Ding! <laughs> They're really serious people that do really serious things. <laughs> serious why so serious <laughs> and since we're going to be doing a promo here let's do the other one that says if you haven't downloaded the other way today app please download the other way today app and tell a friend about it give them the link have, all have of the friends all of the things all of the links all of them yep. <laughs> well actually when you download the other way today app you do get all the links they're all right there in the app exactly ah. mm-hmm. and yeah. all of the friends and all the friends all are there. Because we're all there. That's right. Things, be your friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, like we, we don't have, have our own soundtrack. That, that's the only thing we're missing right now is is a special soundtrack of songs by Dan Mangana. But other than that, we're doing pretty good. So. Well, <laughs> just, just saying. <laughs> all my stuff's here from England. Yep, I manifested that, including my missing box that reappeared. And so I have my guitar. Uh oh! Here we go. Ooh. Here we go. Yeah, All right. but it, the battery after two years of it being in a box, um, the battery for the tune is gone, so it probably sounds awful. Mm-hmm. However, I endeavour, and I'm very excited about the prospect of getting a new one. Ooh. Battery that is. All right. I'll probably look, probably do it when we're out today. We're going to hang out at the beach after this, so I will look for a battery without at the store. 
Lucky it's raining here today. Yeah, I'm not about that life, bro. Neither am I. <laughs> Neither am I. I manifested a whole winter with no snow on the Cape last last winter. So that's stuck life. That's well, you manifested more than that. You manifested a spring without any interlopers. I yeah. did. <laughs> <laughs> so the entire, <laughs> so the, the entirety of COVID was uh, yeah. was your they manifestation. They all showed up in August, though, and I'm hoping they left Monday. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Because it's, okay. it's, a, it's a long season. It goes from spring, it goes from, what is it, Memorial Day to Labor Day is mm-hmm. when all the interlopers are here. Okay. So, those are the days I don't go to the beach. Okay. So, let's go back to manifestation. First of all, any more manifestation stories? Have we covered them all yet? I think we got them all for today. Hmm. I feel like I have something cool. Well, let it go. Yes. It'll, it'll come. Oh, here we go. There oh, we got it. Yeah. So little things. Okay. So um, I don't know how y'all feel about numerology, but uh, Kenny and I have our own number, and it's 222. And that's because we met on the 22nd in 2019. So 222 is our number. We found out later that 222 is also the number res- uh, that responds to soulmates. So now wherever we go out, we see the number 222. Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> we're getting married on October 22nd, mm-hmm. 2020, 2021, sorry. And yeah, so we just, just, and I saw a car, a police car today that went by that said 222. And all the gas in town is $2.22. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing. Is that you creating or you calling in? Is it a reminder or is it a sign? Can which it be all which? of the above? Do you want it to be all of the above? Yes. <laughs> then that's pretty reasonable as far as I'm concerned. Oh, well, I agree with you. <laughs> it's like Joel Elson says, if you believe that it's significant, it's significant. And we do believe it's significant. And if you believe it's not significant, you're still right. He's, Kenny says whenever he goes out to buy me a gift and I'm not with him, if the number 222 shows up, he knows I'll like the gift. Okay. But the trick is, I like the gift anyway because he bought it. So, <laughs> well, that's a win-win then. He can't lose yeah. on that one. <laughs> you can't really lose. <laughs> Not really, no. So, yeah. That's Whatever right. he gives me, it's something I didn't have before. So that's how I've, that's what my feeling about gifts in general. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I see lots of uh, people who write stuff online about um, manifestations and about whether or not you. You can only manifest good things, or if it's a bad thing, did it happen to you, or did you make it happen? And then mm-hmm. if it's something bad that you didn't like, then it couldn't have been you that, have, that made it happen, all that kind of thing. So there's like an endless list of them. The latest one that I saw was somebody who posted, she was trying, what was it? What was the post? She had found a tweet, and she was sharing mm-hmm. the tweet, and the person who had tweeted had suggested that you should never point out to someone who is trying to attract an SP and failing and evidently for reasons where perhaps the SP is abusive to the person or something like that, but she's going for him anyway or something along that line. Yeah, I was going to ask what's... what's Oh, the SP, that's like the standard designation for a special person or or you're a specific person that you're trying to attract. Oh, I didn't know that one. Me neither. Well, you got to hang out in in the Facebook groups, that's all. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I'm only there for the drama. <laughs> well, the, these are the ones who give out the drama. So, you know, just yeah. tune into them a little bit more. Well, whatever I attune to, that's what pops up in my feed. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So. <laughs> mm-hmm. see, well, see, you're not much into the drama anyway in terms of attracting a lot of drama into your life. So. Not in my personal life, but to watch it, yes. So you need to, like, work on that then if you want to no, see. No, I have, I have <laughs> Because it's not my like there's a lack. The drama stays in the screen. That's my boundary. I mean, Whether it be I point, on my phone or on my TV, the boundary is the drama <laughs> stays on the screen. See, my point is that there's no lack of it. You know, so if you're not uh, seeing no. you're just not, you're just not, so you're like not in the same vibe. That's all. <laughs> basically, basically. Yes. But anyway, the reason I'm bringing this up is um, we, we were just talking about the money game. We were talking about how um, all of the stuff that comes in 
counts vibrationally, even if it doesn't count toward, you know, making the next step in the money game. And you mm-hmm. want to celebrate all of it. And if it's below the, uh, the threshold, you give it away. And that does a whole vibrational thing. The, the car- would you call it karmic something? I forget what you called it. Karmic payoff. Karmic payoff, right? You know, so, so all that, that, that is good stuff. But there are so many people who seem to, oh, what's the way I want to describe it? They like compartmentalize. Mm-hmm. Manifestations. They compartmentalize vibration, and they, they they kind of leave stuff out. So, I was talking earlier about how I can ignore things unintentionally and, and not notice it, and, and we both have talked about that quite a bit. But what about people who are deliberately, through their choices, saying, you know, that doesn't really count as a manifestation, so I'm not going to count it. Well, how see, does... that's the problem right there. Everything counts as a manifestation. It does, yeah. The fact that I blinked my eye right now is a manifestation. (laughs) (laughs) That's why I kind of get, I laugh at, I am a manifesting super coach. I'm going to teach you how to manifest. (laughs) Thanks, bro. I've got this one. That's just like, (laughs) we're all manifesting all the time. What we're really talking about is being conscious of Mm -hmm. what we're manifesting and applying that consciousness to call in what we actually desire versus what we habitually 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 create mm-hmm. I, I like that definition and it's true and when you look at it that way it kind of takes the excuses away mm-hmm. yeah because i mean the experience of physical reality is one big manifestation yeah not really anything that special about it <laughs> well on the other hand Everything is special about it because it's one continuous special af- one after another. I mean, yeah, but I mean, like the special. No, oh, that special. kind of special. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm special. You know, that kind of thing. <laughs> does that make sense? Yeah, I think it does. I think what what you're really alluding to there is that you can you can see. Well, here's what I'm alluding to, and then we'll, we'll see what you're alluding to. I'm alluding to the fact that all manifestations are special because we're living in a physical universe of our joint creation mm-hmm. that is pretty damn cool. Yeah. And yeah. now that we understand the rules of the game a whole lot better because we've studied this law of attraction stuff and energy and mm-hmm, mm-hmm, source mm-hmm. energy and how all this stuff works and so forth, we have a better idea of what, <laughs> what the rules of the game are, of how yeah. to actually play the right. game, you know? And... It, it's cool to watch. It's cool to, to be a part of. We were talking on Tuesday. We, I mean, literally with the TV thing, right? Getting a TV. Yeah. Yeah, we, we're, we're watching the whole manifestation unfold. How much mm-hmm. cooler can you get? Not much cooler than that. I think that the attempt to get much cooler would fail. Mm. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. I mean, really, the trick is to notice that everything is a manifestation and it's all cool. Yeah. It's all- and then you can just have fun enjoying the manifestation rather than fluffing and fussing over how many plants you ate on the route to it. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> and what time is it? 4.23. Oh. Oh, 23 minutes to get there. Okay. I did it. I did it. I did it at 2.22 my end. Oh, did you? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> People are wondering what we're talking about here, and um, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Don't get sucked in. It's not worth it. Just take our word for it. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> okay, so let's see. Segue. Where do we go with that? <laughs> um, all right. Well, go back to where we were a moment ago. All this is cool stuff. Mm-hmm. The Money Game and Beyond Intention book and most books and, and most courses out there are about getting us to ultimately appreciate all the stuff in life, including mm-hmm. the stuff that we don't like, which is the hard part, but nevertheless, right. appreciating all the stuff. So if let's say I'm going to hypo- hypothetically say that there are some of us, listeners included, who perhaps haven't totally mastered it, haven't totally gotten there yet in terms of, you know, appreciating how cool all of it is. Mm-hmm. The money game certainly is a way to get there, but what other ways can we encourage people to get to the point where they're appreciating all of it? Uh, Listening to this podcast. Okay, yeah. (laughs) That counts. 
Wake up and listen to the podcast. Come and get your vibe higher every day. <laughs> Basically. I can't wait till he gets the guitar. But oh, no. I'm I'm, I actually hate performing, so that's never actually going to happen on the show. You don't Ooh. perform? Really? Wow. Okay. I don't do it. It's it it's it, and it's it's annoyed a lot of people on my um on my uh, my what's the word I'm looking for my musical journey because I've never pursued a professional music career even though I was offered many many times and just didn't I'm really, just surprised I'm just considering gonna... you'll just step up to the mic and you'll just start you know whipping out a tune but you haven't played guitar too that's kind of interesting yeah but that's different I'm not performing I'm doing a joke it's very interesting to now we're gonna sit around and watch daniel singing a song <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah there's no press on here yeah this is true fun. yeah i'm just sort of being goofy i know and how i know feel. it's a story but it's a story that i'm not really that interested in putting your work into changing so bye mm-hmm. yeah, that's all right describe yeah. it that's all yeah i know what you're going through because a lot of people got upset that i put my comedy career aside really i'm one of them to be honest but hmm? I'm one of them. Aw. <laughs> Even though I've never seen you be a comedian. I'm I guess I'm science. biased here because I think both of you are are pursuing it just because Daniel comes onto the show and he croons into the microphone and Alex is doing jokes all the time that she's on the show. So where are we well, missing that's something? that's my thing. I'm doing jokes all the time anyway. I don't have to get on stage and, you know, make a whole thing about it. Yeah. I did that. I enjoyed it. But that was my 20s. I'm over it. Yeah. I mean, you're still doing it. You're just not doing it. Oh, oh, I see. You're not doing it in the official way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't become famous because of it is the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have talent that I went nowhere with is the big thing. Yeah, see, I don't buy their argument there. I think I agree. Well, that's from the people who don't watch the podcast. So (laughs) they don't know that I'm still doing something twice a week. Okay, now hang on here, guys. You're going to complain that she's not pursuing the career, but you're not tuning in to the platform where she's actually doing the thing that you want her to do. But here's the thing. This is the same people who would be like, oh, you should be a comedian, and then not show up to my shows. Well, that doesn't surprise me at all. If they're not going to listen to you on the podcast, God forbid they ever show up at a show. I mean, come on. <laughs> that's something you have to pay for. That's different. Yeah, right. <laughs> this is free. They wouldn't even take the yeah. free one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I get the whole podcast thing because LOA is not for everyone. But if you're my friend and you're supporting me, you should definitely be at my show. Just because whatever you put into it, it comes back to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I agree. I mean... If they're really going to get uh, picky about the LOA thing, they should remember what the subtitle is. The subtitle is your daily dose of happy. Daily dose of happy. Mm-hmm. The, the word LOA, law of attraction, does not appear in the subtitle at all. Facts. Facts. No, so, you know, yeah. that, that's one more excuse gone. So, yeah, yeah just um, <laughs> zap them from their excuses. Well, I just zapped them out of my life. That's all I did. You're out of my life. I mean, not completely. We're still all Facebook zap. friends, but eh, <laughs> all the time, they don't. <laughs> That's the baseballs. <laughs> <laughs> I have no problem, zero problems of cutting people out of my life. I follow the, uh, I, I think it was a quote that uh, Jim Carrey said, and he said, it's, it's I, I'll cut you out of my life. It's not that I don't want you to see you eat. It's that I don't want you at my table. Mm. Ooh, get off my table because there ain't a seat for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. But you're welcome to eat anywhere else, and I really exactly. hope you that you do. Exactly. You can do the entire restaurant. Just use it me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I I have to say, congratulations. Thank that's you. A, that's a great great way to do it. I mean, you yeah. Just, you, because most people will turn that into, like, a they'll turn it into a thing, right? You don't turn it into a thing. You just click. It just the is off. what it is. It just is what it is. Yeah. It's like reduced importance in... Um, reality transferring it's not you're not even giving it the energy to really even think about it anymore it's like right. oh how cute bye it's not a thought it's not not a thought you know yeah just bye. it just is it, it's got no energy that's really right. what it is it's got no right. charge no charge it's not no. afforded the pleasure of a charge mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. sorry bro which can be very annoying to some people, but, you know. Yeah. I think that is one of my annoying traits that people think. <laughs> like, how could you cut someone off so easily? Uh, 
Same way I changed my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> you don't wear the same shirt every day. Yeah, that's pretty quick. Pretty yeah. easy. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't take a lot of work. Eventually you get sweaty and you got to change. <laughs> or you could smell, but this way is a lot less smelly. Yes, <laughs> less exactly. Smelly. Exactly. <laughs> it's decidedly less smelly. Actually, that's true in multiple ways, isn't it? Because uh-huh. when people want you to push back and you push back and they push back and put that, that's a smelly situation. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, so the metaphor works both ways. Exactly. Yeah, it's cool. I, I just changed my shirt. <laughs> just changed the shirt. Yeah. Dan, you got a T-shirt that says "Just change the shirt." He does now. <laughs> no, I, 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 I'm going to let you keep that one. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I kind of want them to keep wearing the the, the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't think that far. They didn't think that far ahead. You know, just from a purely business perspective. Daniel's <laughs> <laughs> <Just, just, laughs> got that business mind. We're just like, here's a T-shirt. Here's a T-shirt. <laughs> it's like, yeah. So. <laughs> so there's that oh gosh tickles tickles galore oh very good so i recorded a podcast today i'm gonna oh. do it with Dan podcast with a woman called victoria marie gallagher who you have to meet she is fabulous really she wrote a book called the practical law of attraction ah mm. And it was a little bit goosey because Ooh. it's eight components that should be in alignment in order for the law of attraction to click in and for you to manifest. Ooh. So if you check, if you check Walt, the today I streamed the podcast live into my Facebook group. Okay. Mm-hmm. Have a look. And if you're as happy as I am, we will hook it up. All right. I'll make a note. What was her name again? Victoria? What? Victoria Marie Gallagher. Tell you what, Marie. I have a computer oh. in front of me. If you give me two flicks of a lamb's tail, it's a flick, guys. Stop complaining. We're not going to eat it <laughs> yet. Um, this is Practical Law of Attraction. That was your book. I'm going to tag you on the video. All right, yeah. I'll check it out. Well, actually, I mean, if you recommend it, I, I just yeah, go on the recommendation. Like, I, I don't need to actually go check that out. You know, so I say invite her already, but I'll definitely check it out anyway. Yes. Yeah, give them um, the views. Yeah, pal. Thing to do. Y'all just got tagged. Awesome. <laughs> Boom, there it is. All right. So, yeah, no, um, if she's, if you're in touch with her and, and she's interested, bring her on. Yeah, we'll do bring it. Bring her on to a show, sure. Bring it a special I guest mean, Thursdays. I'm thinking about the various guests you brought to us already. I don't think there's been a dud among them. <laughs> They've all hmm. been fabulous. Every single yeah, one of them. This makes me joyful to have made a an expansive contribution to our Absolutely. Collection. I mean, oh, one yeah. of them became semi-permanent. Dave Strickle. <laughs> I mean, he's like, oh, he's Tuesday now, you know? <laughs> like, oh, yeah, yeah. you're not leaving. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Bring Victoria on. Up the suit, so, it's stuck. so uh, tell us a little bit about these uh, eight, eight compounds. Give us a little bit of a teaser on it. The teaser is that they're really cool. <laughs> now that's a gentle tease. What can I say? Well, it's kind of like you boy. can't say something without giving it all of it away. Yeah, I mean, there's ones that you'd know vibrations in there. It's like your vibrational mm-hmm. set point. Um, imagination is in there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Desires in there. There's some really cool ones. Okay. Like I drive. With, I drive with it. And I presume she's got stories to go along with it. Score, stories on stories on stories. Mm-hmm. She's got a whole building. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sounds good to I, me. I, I got that one, Alex. Don't worry. For the people <laughs> at the back, I'll see you upstairs. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> private jokes and some private jokes. Yeah, we need to be able to cue listeners in, so we'll, we'll stick to that track. <laughs> 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 That's great. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see. What else can we uh, bring in here? This is th- Thursdays are our days to kind of go off the beaten track and not find our way back to it. And we're we're doing that very nicely today. Yeah, um, we're good at that. Yeah, we're really good at that. Just what um, 
This actually is a point, though. Uh-huh. How do you how do you keep a an interest going when there is when when, when there's no tension in it? Because I mean, literally everything we, we we've, we're just taking the tension out of everything. Everything is so easy. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Well, that's I mean, why that's, no that's the basis for drama, right? You have right, to have tension going. Say that. That's why there's no good TV shows without tension. This because is, if everything's so easy, who wants to watch that show? Th- this is the one thing that I've not been able to totally figure out. I mean, we've done a large bit. Uh, we've done a lot with this show to get stuff going in a way that people are excited and interested and they want to keep coming back for more <laughs> without really solving this issue. But in the back of my, my mind, it's always there. It's like, well, you know, how, how do you keep the tension going when everything's going great? Mm-hmm. And I haven't found a good answer for that. So I just keep pointing to the stuff where things aren't going great. That's the best I know how to do. <laughs> well, I think you just keep expanding on the stuff that is going great. So if people tune in and go, oh, let's see what's going great for them now. Yeah, the that's people true. people that are on the right vibration, though. That, well, that's true. I mean, the more that it, it's it's like the money game. The more that we focus yeah. on getting those kinds of results, we have the more we have to celebrate. So the more there is to you know create content for the show. So that is true. That's a good point. Yeah, it's like um, what was that Jeopardy when that that guy won for like thirty two weeks in a row or something yeah. like that? Yeah. yeah, it's like that. It's like oh, okay, well he's not losing, but let's tune in to see how much he's actually going to win. Yeah. And you keep doing it every week, every week, every week. But that's again, if you're in the right vibration, you're not going. Well, let's see if this dude's going to lose today. It reminded me also of, I remember the day in the news where I saw, I think it was on Google News, I saw that he had lost. Mm-hmm. And it was going to be on the show playing that night. So I tuned in for sure to see that Thanks. show. <laughs> exactly. And played the game of, okay, which of the two challengers beats him before yeah. you could actually see who it was going to be. Mm-hmm. I was right, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> My take what? My take? Yeah. Your take? Be so pre- be so present in the now that you're not even caught up in whether there's tension or not. Mm. Okay. So content just comes. See, that's what I'm wondering about. I want, how does the content keep coming? The who? The content. 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 The content for the show. Because we want to keep things coming here. We want to keep that vibration going. We want to keep people tuning in and wondering what's going to happen next and all that kind of stuff. Well, if you want me to start a fight, I can. <laughs> no, well, it's not quite what I had in mind. Just, I mean, if we're... Just offering up my talents. Okay. <laughs> we're just in the groove of continuing to just be uplifting. Then we're just going to keep manifesting the right stuff that's aligned with the kind of listeners we want anyway. Okay. Mm. All right. Agreed. So and if, and if there are people out there that are unhappy with us... Just sharing good news on a week to week basis. This bro, is not the show for you. Bro. They need to uh, rethink what's going on in their lives and, and maybe come visit us in a month or two. Yeah. Go and go and get some go and toxify with some Fox News or something. <laughs> yeah. And come back later. Yeah, they'll toxify you, that's for sure. We um, are your daily dose of happy. The rest of your life is probably sad anyway. Come and get Oh damn. <laughs> <laughs> go and get... He said what he said. Just come and get come and get some goodness. Come and get some smiles and happiness. <laughs> a glass of wine, a meal that may oh. be vegan or not, and uh, <laughs> enjoy the time. Uh oh, the cat's getting out of the bag. <laughs> One day I'm gonna get you're over. Starting to get a, you're starting to get a cue here, a little clue about what this thing is that we've been talking about in the background, and he just uttered that magic word. So just play it back in your mind, you'll get a sense of where we were going. And if you don't know, then go back to the archives and watch every show, which is amazing. <laughs> Boom. Boom. I like that. And it would include an understanding of what we're talking about. Yeah. Or maybe it won't. Fancy some tension and now you have it. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta tell you, listeners, these two on this this X topic that we're not naming, <laughs> these two just love coming up with memes that just riddle that topic with fun. Oh my god! Just absolutely, we, we've had some good ones. We've had yeah. some good ones. <laughs> I literally cry, <laughs> and it's always at the best time because Daniel's in a different time zone than us. So I'm just like. I don't know, it's like 10 p.m. and I'm like laughing my ass off. And Kenny's like, "What's wrong with you?" I said, 
You weren't there, bro. You weren't, you there. weren't there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Go have some tofu and think about it. And then he looked at my timeline. He's like, is this all this conversation is? <laughs> <laughs> yes. What else do you need? Right. Nothing. Nothing else is required in life. <laughs> Not a darn thing. Ah. And then Walt in the corner trying to, trying to coach us like, guys, this isn't high vibe. <laughs> <laughs> But, but it is though. It is. As long as you're laughing, but is it really not though? Isn't it really yes? <laughs> is it really not? <laughs> <laughs> Let's flip well, the script on that one. It looks like somebody's a, t- a Debbie Downer. <laughs> Get your vibe up. <laughs> Negative Nancy over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. <sighs> My diaphragm hurts. <laughs> See, more tension, more tension. And <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Alex is in pain. Tune in next time to see if she's still in pain. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> That's what was but as long as I'm in pain for a good reason. I'm laughing too hard, which is why my lungs yeah. and my frame hurt. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. All the way. So, Walt, well, would you like to segue us back into something serious? <laughs> Not really. Actually, what I want to do is point out that Debbie Downer here was the one who brought the top again. So just saying. Oh, <laughs> we got served. Yeah, we did. <laughs> He's like, let me tell y'all something about y'all. I'm going to tell y'all something. You don't going to hear it. You might not like it, but you're going to hear it anyway. Okay? No, you're ready for that conversation, are you? <laughs> ready for this fire. So, um... <laughs> I literally have three hashtags. I just want to point that out. <laughs> You only have three? Well, that's all right. We'll live with that. <laughs> this, this entire hour has gone off the rails. I have three hashtags. That's it. <laughs> well, that's a hashtag all by itself because that's what we do on Thursdays. We go off the rails. Okay. Got it. I mean, that's it. Four. We I invite you to join us to be in the unknown of what the Dickens were going to talk about <laughs> over the course of this show. <laughs> do you know? Because we don't. We kind, of, we kind of know that it's going to be uplifting and... Law of attraction stroke universal law stroke groovy, groovy. And that's mm. it. Well, there's one other thing you can count on. You're going to laugh. Oh, yeah. Facts. Facts. Be laughed I mean, that's guaranteed. Or mm-hmm. you're going to want to attack us. <laughs> in which, which case, I do, say... You can do that by downloading the app and uh, <laughs> it's up. That's right. Mm-hmm. Hit us up. I'm going to wait for you on the internet, y'all. I'm going to wait in. Yeah, got something to say, better type it. Better type <laughs> it, because I'm reading. So and what you do is too, because she manifested better eyesight. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you download the LOA Today app, and then you go to the page that says Attack a Host. You click the Attack a Host page, <laughs> oh, fill wow. in the form. <laughs> attack a Host. <laughs> I actually like that. <laughs> a bit strong. <laughs> Wasn't really expecting that. <laughs> well, you, you can relax, Daniel. Daniel. It doesn't actually say attack a host, so you know. Oh, fabulous! I thought I'd missed a nice <laughs> an update. That's what I was really more upset about. Well, that just it, goes to show you haven't been on the app lately. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> moving swiftly on to something completely irre- irrelevant, but that I want to talk about. Alex, oh. episode three of season two of the Non Girls, but the other gender. Oh right! Just watched it last night. Mess around. Mess around. Like, hello, talk about contrast. Oh, reels. For those of you who are wondering what we're talking about, Amazon Prime, The Boys, season one and two, do it now. New episodes every Friday. I was just like, no non-specific gender in order to give away the plot. They didn't. Oh, real. I was like, oh, I see what you're doing. Okay. Okay. And then there's the whole, who's mm-hmm. the more dastardly of the dastardly folks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how did they get away with the thing about the thing when everyone thought that was not going to be the continuation of the thing because they've been trying to do the thing and the thing happened? And then the boy who used to have a girl, but now it's just a boy by himself. And then he had another girl and it didn't work anymore. Like, hello. Yep. You got all, you got all that code, right? Yeah, I did. I did. I love that. <laughs> We're here. I got you. <laughs> I, I, I'm just sitting here impressed that you, you went way beyond endorsement, way beyond recommendation to order, direct order. You must go watch this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, it's a must watch. 
Like not- it's, it's it's a real twiddle on the idea of mor- morality. Mm-hmm. Um, it touches on manipulation of people's faith and belief. Corporate it covers corporate America. Mm-hmm. Greed, fear. Mm-hmm. So many of these concepts that we're force fed, it just gives you another perspective on them. And it's really, really, really well done. It's a thinker. Yeah. And it makes okay. you reevaluate how you think about things. Self love, self love as well. That yeah. episode. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I was just like, bro, no wonder you would do the thing with the thing with the other things. Yeah. And then a little bit of girl power until you find out later. Yeah. That one's a little bit misogynistic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dude, this sounds a little bit like a Facebook group. Yeah. <laughs> it should be. I wouldn't go into a Facebook group where they spoke about this, though, because that's just asking to be shadow banned on social media. Mm-hmm, oh, mm-hmm. It, it, so it really is that far on the edge. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah it's very easy to... I, I, I have to admit... To things and non-gender humans and stuff. Give it give it its due time, Mr. Wall, and actually give it a try. I think you'll... Yeah. Very interesting questions are asked. I, I will um, actually do that tonight. I will commit to doing that tonight because Louise is away for the day. So I, I'm by myself tonight. That's a great time to just check something like, oh, something new. Oh. This might be the one. Could be. This might, this might be the one that brings me back from 99%. <laughs> Looking for the one. Have you seen it? <laughs> I know. I'm a tough sell. What can I say? You are a tough sell. I will. I yeah. will find it. I will find it. Well, I'm giving you your shot. Okay. You I'm, I'm actually going to I'm gonna watch this tonight. Mind. Speaking of groups, I was tapped to um, head up of a supernatural group. Oh, because really? the, yeah, the owner doesn't want to do it anymore and saw uh, my group and was like, we have 4,000 followers. You want to do it? And I was like, oh, do I want my notifications going off 55 times in the night? Well, you can just turn the notifications off. Yeah, but then I wake up and I have to do all this. It's like a second job when you have 4,000 people in a group. Ah, but there's a secret to that. Moderators. What's the secret? You get more moderators. Touche. See, you, I'm a moderator. This is the art of delegation. Of See, I never had moderators in my group, so I didn't. I didn't even think about that. Talk, talk to Daniel. He is like an expert at delegating. Yeah, true. I mean, his entire business model is delegating. Yeah. <laughs> Am I wrong? There is also some value creation and giving well, yeah, to, to pay too, customers but... that but yeah the, the delegation of the execution in any way shape or form that's possible yeah well when i plan anything i have to delegate because otherwise i'll go insane so yeah please don't go insane i try yeah. i try not to i try go, not go to. with the delegating it's much easier it's cheaper less psychotherapy yeah mm-hmm. i agree i agree yeah. i think i'm gonna do it now but then i also uh, i don't know because this the series is ending so I don't know. I already yeah, took my posters down. I feel like I want to let it go, but I like I can't. And then and then I don't know if you've heard Daniel. They're already talking about when they come back. What? The, yeah. If, if this show has been around as long as you say it is, and I believe that when, it has. When they come back, they said this they're at the talking, end. They're talking about there. There is there is a possible future of them coming back. So this was a big lie to get people to watch the last season, and they're going to bring them back to life again. <laughs> Well, no, but it's not going to be anytime soon, like a couple of years down the line. Probably a movie, I would think. So no, like they, they refused to do a movie because it's only an hour and a half to two hours, which is two episodes. It's not worth doing the movie. So it's like they're going to do like what they did with Roseanne? Yeah, I think so. Something like that. Remember the spinoff they tried to do with Wayward Sisters? Who was that? I didn't hear anything about that. Oh, boy. Okay, so we've had two possible spinoffs that were supposed to happen. There was the one with the uh, called Bloodlines, and it was supposed to be when they went to Chicago, and then there were all, like, the, the vampires and the and the werewolves, and Chicago had, like, you know, there were mafia and everything. There, there, that was supposed to be a spinoff. But it failed? It, it, it failed horribly. It, that was the worst episode we ever had. And then there was the, um, there were supposed to be the Wayward Sisters, so it was going to be all the women, like Joe... Um, Alex, uh, what's, what's, uh, Castiel's daughter's name? Well, anyway, her. <laughs> and there was supposed to be all of them and, and how they hunt and stuff like that. So it was supposed to be a spinoff about that. that I'm really happen. getting scared that they're not going to give me a satisfactory payoff. I feel future. like it's, I don't know how, how I feel about an ending, honestly. I, I'm ready to let go, but I'm not. And then I don't know how they're going to let go. So I don't know if I'll be able to handle it. 
do you know how broken up I was the day we all found out that it was ending? Like, for real, for real? <laughs> I cried <laughs> for two days. Wow. Well. Yeah. I I had I do find myself sort of dragging out at the end of something because very few shows end well. Yeah. We watched we watched um we've been watching the Americans obviously because Olga's Russian and really does work for the KGB, um, <laughs> the organisation that hasn't existed for twenty years. But um, but yeah, it's like okay, you, you did as good a job as you could, and I have to yeah. just accept that some stories have pieces that aren't going to be fulfilled in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. You're right, though, because most series do not... They're, they're, it's like the uh, people who wrote them don't really know what to do at the end, so they just kind of do something. Well, I don't oh. know, because I was satisfied with Pretty Little Liars and Vampire Diaries, also both written by Julie Fleck. Oh, I haven't watched the end of Vampire Diaries. I stopped when she became a vampire, pretty much. What? You're not even... oh. Wait, I'll tell you when I stopped. I'll tell you when I stopped. Oh, my God. When... um. Matt found out that he'd done the thing that the other person wiped his memory about. Which time? <laughs> no, the thing when he was like in charge of the place. Okay. okay. And there was the lines around the thing. Yeah, yeah. And then he was sort of protecting the thing from the other English fella that was doing the stuff in the town. Right. And then he didn't realize he'd done something and he was like get, getting angry at the person like, but bro, like, aren't you glad that I didn't tell you that thing now? Yeah. And I haven't seen it since then. Bro, tune in. So wait, have you seen originals? I watched... Where I am with the originals <laughs> is when the other guy came, I think it's season two, and the guy that's both is yeah. stand, is in like the thing, and then the, the guy that's a bit caramel... Yeah. Was saying that he had to keep him alive, yeah. and the other people are like, "No, we want to like do whatever." And yeah. then he basically yeah. ends the other person who came to be. We thought he was going to be the big bad guy, and um, then that ended really quick. Yeah. And I haven't seen that since then either. Okay, so all of Julie Plex shows end really well. So you have to do Vampire Diaries. You got to do Originals, and now so Originals is finished now. Originals is finished now, but there's a spinoff called Legacies, and that's what's on now. How many How many episodes of Originals did they do? Uh, I think it went up to season five. Yeah. I just don't see where they're going to go with it. Like, do you know what happened? Do you know what it is? They just kept making up, oh, here's this person from this time that we didn't speak about in the past. And there's going to be an entire narrative about them where that changes the whole thing. And now we can tell another style for a year when exactly the same things are going to happen, but to different people. True. But it didn't end well. Okay. But it only ended well because they prepare for spinoffs. I think that's what the thing is. And what I like is from the point of view of somebody who knows nothing about the show, I'm left with an image of a big caramel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't like to spoil unnecessarily. That's why I was like, I spoke in code. <laughs> I feel like this show's been over for a while. If you haven't caught up, that's your fault. I'm not spoiling anything. Okay. Well, I, I will, I will. Well, this week, Olga and I are watching documentaries when we have our okay. together time. Mm-hmm. We do beach time and documentaries and reading time and whatnot. So, oh, that's nice. Um, yeah, we watched, there's a series on, oh, we can talk about that, which is more aligned with what we're talking about, on Netflix called Unwell. Uh-huh. And it talks about basically alternative therapies and shows both sides of them. So yesterday we watched one on fasting that was really interesting. When you say both sides of them, what do you mean? So, for example, with the fasting one, there are people that are like, this is dangerous, don't do it. And then there's people like, hey, I healed my cancer using this. Ah. And it's like, okay, which one? Don't. And then you've got like someone like, well, we've done our research and we found these results. And it's like, yeah, but, you know, we'll watch one about adults that use um, mother's milk. Mother's milk? Yeah. But then they were like, oh, you shouldn't drink mother's milk. You don't know where it's come from. It's like, yeah, but you want us to drink baby cow food, and we don't know where that's come from. So, Wait, at least mother's milk, like breast milk, or like, what are we talking about here? Yeah, adults that drink breast milk. Oh, right. Not, not direct from source, but also <laughs> like, <laughs> it wasn't that kind of TV show. Um, <laughs> or was it? Oh, yeah, but there was like, there was a guy on there. He had prostate cancer, yeah. and then his markers disappeared within like three weeks of drinking mother's milk every day. 
And then when he came off the mother's milk, it spiked back up again. And then he went back on the mother's milk and it dropped again. And as you're thing. describing that, I keep thinking to myself, so where, to what degree is this all belief based? Well, there's science that's been done on it. And that was what's really interesting. There's this uh, scientist from Sweden that's been showing mother's milk's effect on cancer cells and people have been using it effectively. I was actually going to start a business six years ago around mother's milk, but I couldn't find a way to make it work the way I wanted to make it work. So I didn't bother. Okay. Do you, do you drink baby cow food? No, I'm lactose intolerant. So is he. Okay. Well, that's the end of that phase of the conversation. <laughs> but people, I just, I mean, I'm not, as you know, I'm not into the shaming people for what they eat or don't eat. But I don't understand if someone's got a problem with mother's, mother's milk, but don't have a problem with baby cow food or baby goat food. Yeah. I, I agree with you on that. For sure. Yeah. So I'm not judging you. It's just what you're doing, bro. I think it's different for people, not for me. I couldn't care less, but different for people who can talk to the source. Yeah. Like it's a little more, a little more personal. Yeah. As opposed to this, like, I, I feel like if you know where it comes from, but like, say you go meet a cow, it'd be different. You know what I mean? Like if you knew the cow it was coming from, you might not right. want to drink it. Right, what's up? What's up, Bess? I'm back to yeah, exactly. tackling titties this morning for my cereal. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you might not want, if you knew, if you knew the cow it came from, you might not want to drink it. Yeah. But me, I don't yeah, care. I'm just, you. It's all... I'm just, for me personally. So I'm, um, I haven't tried the old mother's mm -hmm. milk formula. But I've, I've only, all the research I've done into it, yeah, obviously there's going to be bad, like, we had a bad batch, and look, it had salmonella. <laughs> no. uh, it's like, yeah, cow's milk can do the same thing, bro. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah. Because one person's hygiene in the delivery of their mother's milk that you bought, maybe from a dodgy area anyway, mm. doesn't necessarily speak to the whole, the science behind the efficacy well, of this. Well, also, too, you get what you pay for. So if you're going to yeah. buy discount mother's milk, then salmonella, here you come. Yeah. So, we'll see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's, it sounds interesting, though. I was pretty much warned off the idea of stealing baby's mother's milk in order to... I don't think it. stealing it is the way you want to go. I was talking about from my soon to come baby. <laughs> <laughs> like, you done, bro? Let me, <laughs> let me get some of that mother's milk, bro. Let me get some of that mother's milk. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, Dad, just drop it out, mate. <laughs> yeah, oh, athletes are, yeah athletes are actually supplementing with mother's milk really really yeah wow okay they're using it in their shakes like so chocolate, like protein powder berries mother's milk? mother's milk yeah all right so i'm still waiting for uh for medical science research science to do a bigger deeper dive into belief yeah, but Dr. That's what Dr. Joe's done that. That's what Dr. Joe does, but yeah. but broad mainstream science has shied away we from did. that. We did. We had the Italian. More. We had the Italian lady, the Italian yeah. doctor lady on the show. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm not I'm I'm not complaining. I think I think that there are people who are doing it. I just want to see more of it. Yeah. I just want to see more happening along that line cuz I think it's cool. I agree. And then why and not I'll, do the research? I'll, I'll throw you I'll throw in one other thing. For, for double blind research, double mm. blind research is about trying to separate results into three categories. Mm -hmm. Negative results, positive results, and placebo results. And the question that I want to ask is why not have a fourth category? Nocebo results. Nocebo results. I understand why they don't have it because it doesn't fit their model, but to me, that's the more interesting one. Mm -hmm. That's that's the one. I mean, I think the placebo actually is ultimately the most interesting one of all four of them. But I think right. placebo is second to that because what it's basically saying is people make themselves sick. People kill themselves just yeah. by what they think about, what they believe. Agreed. And and when you look at it that way, to me, that upsets the whole double blind apple cart. First of all, mm -hmm. and second of all, it makes you think about the model differently. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, so that's why I really, I very much want to see 
mainstream researchers dive into it and include the nocebo part in their testing. Now, I have to admit, it's not an easy thing to do. That's not like an easy thing to test for. Yeah, um, I was going to say. I think it's important. I, I, I think it would really open up research tremendously just by trying to do that. I think they'd, they'd find all kinds of interesting results coming to them that they had never even conceived of before. Mm. So, just saying. I, I'm, I'm putting it out to the universe. I'm saying, universe, deliver some, you know? There you go. It's good. It's good stuff. Anyway, we have managed to fritter away another hour very humorously. So fritter thank you very away. much, guys. <laughs> Uplift another hour, I say. Yeah, come on, man. Well, that that's a good term. It's a good good way of frittering, I think. I, who said frittering is bad? I, I think frittering is I don't is know. Good. It just sounded bad. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like we wasted another hour. That's what it sounded like. Well, you know, depends on how you look at it. All of this stuff oh. is all perspective. Facts. It's just how are you going to look at it? Are mm-hmm. you going to judge it or are you going to enjoy it? Right? Exactly. That's what you guys were trying to tell me about the whole X thing that we weren't talking about. You know, <laughs> it's, all, it's all the perspective on it, right? True. Anyway, so thank you very much for, for making this a, a lively and fun conversation. I really appreciate that. And uh, I, I did see Nasha. Hello, Nasha. I, I she didn't add anything into the live stream, so I didn't acknowledge her before. But hello, Nasha. Thank you for showing up in the live stream. And thank you especially to our podcast listeners as well. We'll see you all next time here on LOA Today. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>